Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. I'm Drew. I'm Enya. And we're just here to have like a beautiful time. Spread <laughs> misinformation as I do best. I know that is your that's your thing. Yeah. For <laughs> my, sure. my whole my whole <laughs> shtick and bit is spreading misinformation. Um, right. Well, um What were we just talking about that I wanted to talk about? Naked attraction? Yes, naked attraction. So there is this show that we have been binging like i i think we might actually be the fastest co- completion <laughs> time of this show ever like when we're just sitting in the living room like and we have homies over we'll just be like yo have you heard of this show naked attraction it's like this old bbc show that like just gets naked and you see naked bodies on tv and like everyone's like there's no fucking way but yeah there are there is a show on HBO Max where you can just see naked bodies, but it's like normal to them because they have like they don't have like insecurities about their bodies and shit. Yeah, but also like, the standards of like showing your body. Like I think the ideas of the naked body are like different in Europe. Which is literally how it should be. Yeah. Um, but like we have just been told to be afraid of our body and stay dressed and clothed at all times because Capitalism. Buy they, more clothes. They buy more make clothes. money off of you if you clothe your body. So, so that's I why think, we should all get yes, naked. Yes, we and should all be naked. And that's our big takeaway from this episode today. If no matter what conversation comes up, just know that what we want is specifically for women. Oh, why not men? Actually, Free I the agree. Free <laughs> that the show. That show. I am not kidding. Like I cannot stress enough. When I'm eating and watching that show, and it's all naked men on the board, I literally lose my appetite. Dude, like it's, it's really like gnarly. really hard to watch, and it's so gross. It is literally so jarring, and it actually like no, it makes me sick. Like I was eating, and I was so fucking hungry. And we came home, and we started watching it with Josh, and I literally was like, oh my god, I was like eating my poke bowl. And I had to put it in the fridge and eat like saltine crackers because eating like flavorful food while looking at those naked bodies like of those men was actually scaring me because like, ew. I ironically, <laughs> I feel the exact same way about the women. I don't wow. like, I just don't, it disgusts me to look at women. Is that because you just believe in like, um, like the like the not sexualizing women's exactly. bodies and it feels like yeah okay I, I knew it came from a, a feminist place um, so no I will say though like <laughs> the um it, that show is really unironically good for like the male psyche um and that's where I'll leave that because like there's a bunch of like normal fucking looking penises on there and all you see in porn and television and shit are like monster fucking giant <laughs> hogs and then. I'm saying that like I don't have a monster fucking hog in between these. I legs. know because it's if you're anything, you me. are the beauty standard, and you're hurting <laughs> your I'm, fellow peers. Exactly, I'm slinging me, bro. Um, I would I could say the same about the women though, because like everybody on there like is just like your average person, and I'm like, oh. okay, cool. I am not supposed to be shaped like literally an IMVU character my body is normal like I am fine I am fine well I, am I fine. think all women should have like really thick thighs giant butt mm-hmm. big boobs and like a four inch waist like I think women dude I think be, if someone had a four inch like, waist they'd be right. like perished like they would okay. be like <laughs> like okay. okay I'm just like really confused with your like standards of like do you love them or do you hate them I think they should be naked all the time. Okay, okay. I mean, that didn't answer the question, I guess. But yeah, that show is awesome. Um, If you are not a child, you should watch it. Yeah, literally. But Um, it it did, like, raise a lot of, like, people were like, get this shit off the airwaves. Like, what the fuck? This is demonic. (laughs) Like, Americans were like, what the fuck is this? But, like, it's just, like... The vibe. I will say it does make sense for it to get flack because it is like at the end of the day, like it is crazy to just put naked people in front of you and be like, mm, "You're ugly. Your balls are gross. I don't like that. I don't like that." Uh, but okay, my one thing is they always describe coochie as nice and tidy. They're like, "That's clean and tidy." Like, oh, she's got a tidy little fanny. Like, oh, they oh, always yeah, like, oh, like, oh, oh, neat and tidy. Like, I like that. I like that it's neat and tidy and tucked away. <laughs> Neat and tidy. Did I know? And I'm like, first of all, they say it about every pussy that's on screen. And Do I'm they like, ever call it a gash? 
<laughs> no, that, isn't that? I think that's like I don't is know that misinformation. That. <laughs> is, that, is that misinformation? I th- I have heard that term, dude. Actually, some of the dudes this on there like, like something I heard. Some once. of the dudes when they get kicked off, they're like, you know, she's not my cup of tea, but she's got a banging rack on that body, so it is a shame. Like I will say, and I'm just like, Oi, whoa, I, I fucking cr- shag you in the bed seat. <laughs> there was one guy oh, in season six. <laughs> Every time Drew does that. I have like an out of body experience. I like to dissociate. <laughs> Ew. When you do that, you seem like you turn into a robot chicken, like, like toy. Does that make sense? I don't. Did like, kids? Do people still watch Robot Chicken? I don't think Robot Chicken exists anymore. I don't anymore. think so. They watch no. Skibbity Toilet. Yeah, that's oh, their God. Robot Chicken. Wait, what is it? You're so popular. What, how does it go? Uh, I'm gonna rip uh, No, you. it's a uh, smile and an in for the picture. You're so pretty. No, no, you're so popular. What's the raising version? Bitch, I don't know. And don't even There's fucking like ask a, me. You're so rizzy. There's like a W Ohio version. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you're what so skibbity. You're so phantom tax. Okay. Um. What does the Ohio thing mean, Drew? Only in Ohio. I know you know. Only in Ohio. Well, it goes back a very, very long time. Um, And that's all I have to give to you. My name is Carmen Winston. (laughs) My name is Carmen Winstead. I'm 17 years old. I'm very similar to you. Did I mention that I'm dead? (laughs) You're really good at it. (laughs) That is really good. I was trying to tell Drew that that's what he should be for Halloween because we've been discussing. I know next week is... The Halloween episode, and we've been discussing what we are. I already know what I am because I'm basic and I'm silly, and it's gonna be cute. I have we a don't... costume. Yeah, we have a costume for Drew, but I think we should keep an open mind if something else comes up. But I was like, he should be Carmen Winston for Halloween. But the only picture of her Carmen is Carmen Winston. Oh, Winstead, what's <laughs> yeah, her name? Carmen Winston. <laughs> um, but the only picture of her is a picture of a child who is definitely alive and just like it was back in like OG but before AI because now if something like that happened they could just be like make dead girl whatever and like yeah. AI would make a new person but it was back when people would just grab a random face and be like bitch that's fucking Dude, you. Dude it's crazy like all of the creepy pastas. I watched like a video of like the original photos of like the creepy pastas. like you know like the, what is the smiling jack one what is his name? I don't know but that's um, what one of the. But basically Basically, like, they're all just normal fucking pictures that look kind of beat that someone saw and then just edited the fuck out of. That's literally us with the Golden I, Bachelor, I was, I was that say, girl. I was going to say, like, that's us with a certain someone that we don't need to talk about. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, literally, it's it was dude, the internet, early days of the internet, like, forum internet was so crazy. Like, I want to go back. Take me back. We have been on a crazy reality TV kick. We mm. never tap into reality TV and we just, bitch, oh my god, I don't know if anybody actually took what we said and went and watched Love is Blind. That, like, I could have watched 18 more hours of that shit. Mm. Like, that was literally the best brain rot I've consumed in a very long time. Yeah, it's just so drama-filled and messy boots and, like, the reunion episode was everything I wanted it to be. There were some things that were left out that I was like, I want clarity on that. But it completely shifted my perspective on some I know. people that I was like, oh, you're evil. But no, it like completely shifted. And I was like, no, I'm happy for you. Yeah, now. everyone, I'm like, you're relatively normal, but JP is the killer. JP <laughs> If you're is watching, the you killer. know what we mean. But that motherfucker is the killer. Okay, He's but we can move on. Wicked. Um, Mm -mm. Mm -mm. but I want to talk about waterbeds. Um, what were we doing? Like literally what was like, I still have never touched or interacted with a waterbed. And that was to me, a sign of luxury, two things. One, a waterbed. The idea that somebody out there could afford a waterbed was a sign of luxury Two, I realized that like this puts into perspective, like my family situation, but I had a homegirl who's godmom was like 24 and bought a brand new toyota corolla and i was like fuck if only we were that rich (laughs) like i literally was like fuck i wish we could have a new toyota corolla and that car like it's it's like a 2010 toyota corolla in red that car was the like that was the sign of wealth to me that that was that was silent what is it called like silent wealth yeah yeah yeah. that was silent wealth to (laughs) me I i was like damn like that's crazy um yeah well the only reason i brought it up was because i like had this like deep 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 seated like memory in my brain of me interacting with a waterbed when i was like four or five 
And I realized that my mama and granddad had a fucking waterbed for like the first they six were years. Freakily no, that's what I'm saying. Like, they were they like were freaky freak. as fuck. And then I just like went on a deep dive of waterbeds and like everyone who had them when they were younger were like, it was literally the worst thing <laughs> like I've ever slept on. Like literally imagine just sleeping on water and plastic and like, so like think of an air mattress and like, when you sleep on an air mat at mattress all night, you sink into it a little bit. It's the same idea with water beds, except it's water and really fucking heavy. So you get like trapped in this like fucking like divot in the water bed. And they were like, it was like impossible for me to get out sometimes. Like I would have to call for help <laughs> to get out of my bed because I was like inside of it. And then they were like also like filling it up was really terrifying because like you can explode the water better or whatever. But yeah, I remember playing. I, I remember I was not allowed to fucking touch that water bed. Like I was not allowed anywhere near it because I was like a toddler and I would just jump expensive? all over it. Are they expensive? Are water beds expensive? I feel like actually now that I think about it, they should be cheap because it's literally a big plastic balloon and you're filling it with the water. I think they were pretty expensive like at the time. like Because they were just like gimmicky. They were yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. Um, best leap of your life. Um but also imagine having doing like S on that. Like it that's what I'm saying. They're freaks. They're they they're moving with the motion of the ocean. Yeah, you know that kind of uh, like they were not, literally like. It's not the size, but the motion of the ocean. No one's ever said that to you because you've got that. Oh, Sling and meat. Yep. <laughs> hog hog water but yeah i yep. remember playing on it one time and i literally like it was the same <laughs> night that i chased my sister around with a knife after watching billy and mandy and um Jesus, dude. have i ever said that on yeah either? you have because <laughs> then your because then your grandparents were your grandpa was like you're never watching that fucking show again it's evil yeah i mean it literally was like i was watching clips back of it it's like actually an evil show like there's like an evil demon rabbit that's like tough love have you ever heard of it and he just starts yeah. beating the like shit like he looks really cute and then they'll do the zoom ins and he'll say something evil yeah and then wait Tell that's so donnie me. darko yeah what basically i've never seen donnie darko i've never seen donnie darko you like tap in. I, i'm gonna watch it this week i think but i was thinking about that i was like i've never seen any james duvall movie and i saw him at the slow dive concert and he was staring at me and i was like oh my god i'm gonna act like <laughs> i know who the fuck he is right now like stop <laughs> We went to slow dive. And it was amazing. It was it so good. Literally. And you like got me tickets because there's a lot of history there. Basically, when my brother <laughs> died, we went back to Texas and you like came with me and we were driving up and down these streets, like literally going like 120 miles per hour, like literally so dangerous. Don't do that. I'm not bragging. It was literally basically Yeah, I was thinking wish. about that the other day when I was getting ready. And I was like, that's the kind of shit that like you look back on and you're like, that is so... I will say the and like roads bad. were empty. It was yeah. like 3 I mean, it's but fuck nowhere. But fuck middle of nowhere, Texas. Like these roads, like didn't we did not see a single soul on it for like the hour and a half we were driving up and down this road. But there are two songs in particular that when those songs came on, like I was like, we listened to them over and over again, and it's slow mo and star roving and. I, I literally still to this day cannot listen to those songs without just like sobbing my eyes out uncontrollably. And at the concert, I was literally like boohoo crying and I've never cried at a concert ever in my life. And I was literally just so like, I, I before it, I was like, I'm not even gonna fucking cry. Like I thought I was the week leading up, but like when we were getting there, I was like, oh, like I feel nothing right now. I'm not gonna cry. And I still crowed. I crowed. It was so good. Uh, I love concerts so much. Like I'm, I've been on a big like concert kick. Like I'm going to every concert I can find tickets to. But fuck resellers because concert tickets are way too expensive right now. It's actually fucking insane. Like even for smaller concerts, like why is this ticket a hundred dollars? I think we're literally like hitting the peak of it because like Travis Scott's tour. Like, obviously, bots bought all those tickets, and everyone's like, I'm not going to that shit. Like, what? And then last minute, they're like, I'm going to go. But, like, the resellers bought too many, so the ticket prices are so fucking low for his tour, which is, like, crazy. That's, like, Travis Scott. But, I know. It's like, also crazy for resell tickets yeah. to, like, an arena tour. Those are usually so expensive. Yeah. But just buy the ticket. If you're really wanting to go, just buy the tickets an hour before the show. It's literally a cheat code. Yeah, I know. That's what I, like, want to get on is, like, buying it right before. But mm -hmm. then what if they're sold out? But that's, like, really rare that, like, there's not even one person reselling a ticket. Like, yeah. come on. Um. Okay, another person I want to talk about 
is Susan fucking Boyle. <laughs> Boyle. I know, that, like, name sounds familiar, but I don't know if I know who Susan Boyle is. She's the, like, it's like, don't judge a book by its cover, like, underdog story on American Idol, where, like, everyone was oh, like... Oh, every- I do remember Susan Boyle. Yeah, everyone was like, for the people who don't know, she was, like, this girl on American Idol or whatever, one of those um, British Got Talent or whatever, I don't fucking know. Um, she was like not the most beautiful woman you've ever seen and everyone immediately clocked her for it and was just writing her off and just being like dicks about it and then she got on there and sang her put her whole fucking pussy into that song like Susan Boyle put her pussy into that fucking performance like she ate down and um, she won over Simon Cowell who is melting in front of us he is literally actively <laughs> melting we need to study him I his haven't lizard seen a picture skin of him for 10 years I don't his think. lizard skin I is know. melting off of his face like his it's really really scary how old is he I feel like he's been 50 for like 20 years I think he's probably 65 um but yeah she ate down bitch I my brain just like did the thing where you like glance at something and it replaces it and I thought it said that he was 94 years old <laughs> his skin <laughs> is melting like no he's 64 um but <gasps> whoa <laughs> yeah dude that's what I'm saying like something is seriously wrong look we need at to, him like, look into that oh yeah he looks amazing um but didn't she have like really gnarly uh it was the x factor but didn't she have like a gnarly controversy or something like or was that just like tabloid just making shit up to like ruin this woman's life who just got set in fame i don't know but like does she make music like she this- did make music she uh stormed the capital she she was at the insurrection <laughs> why was she there bro she's british dude nobody knows <laughs> damn she has 500k weekly listeners wait she's popping Okay. Yeah, she, yeah. Um, Did that, that say, song as they tear 30... your holes apart? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I helped write that about Drew. Tales. Wait, she eats. I this? dreamed a dream and time gone by. That's Do you know that sings. song? That's what she sings. Well, that song has 32 million streams. So there's people out there who listen to Suzanne Boyle. Susan Boyle. Sus- she was dealt such a heavy fucking card getting that last <laughs> name Boyle. <laughs> Fucking boil. <laughs> Some people have it so hard, bro. <laughs> like literally. Um, that's insane. There's so many people out there who make music who I literally don't understand. Like who? Wait, when you look up so- Suzanne Boyle, the first song that comes off is "Anal Queen." Oh. <laughs> so, so maybe she like, did rap about wait, tearing literally, holes apart. Like it's like Suzanne Anal Queen. I dreamed a dream. Anal Queen, <laughs> but like exclamation hey. points. Um, but yeah, I think she. Oh, wait, yeah, she went to a psychiatric op- hospital. Well, that's the episode. Thank you guys so much for listening. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Um, no, I also wanted to talk about uh, perfume in middle school. Um, oh, my God. Like, okay, so we all know, like, the nasty, stinky boys who didn't shower after football practice in the morning and just went to the locker room and sprayed, like, a disgusting amount of acts all over or their bod. bodies or links like they would go just like I, re- I was a part of the problem like shh, like just doing it and like i want to see the correlation to people who have like something wrong with them mentally and how much acts they poured on their body when they were younger because like that shit is suffocating like literally like the fucking exhaust you foods. literally just said you were one of those people so you're the example that's is what right i'm fucking here that's what i'm saying there's got to be a correlation or a pipeline so like, now you are Further proving your point because you are conspiracizing that the reason something is wrong with you mentally is because of your acts used. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there is a whole thing about what's that one brand of deodorant that men use? The red one? Old Spice? Old Spice. Old Spice yeah. literally gives chemical burns. I've, I've had them in high school. I had chemical be- burns all over my armpits and they were like bloody and blistery and it hurt so fucking bad and I didn't know what was causing it and I kept using it until I saw like an article talking about it what men are so fucking stupid because i literally somebody i dated what had the same thing he literally had chemical burns under his armpit because of old spice and he was like dude this uh, this deodorant just burns me like i don't know what i'm supposed to do I'm, i was like 
Sweet. Throw it away and get a different brand of deodorant. Like, what is happening? And I had to physically throw it away and go with him to buy new deodorant. Like, why do men do that? I feel like that's so many- unacceptable. That's a grown ass man. I was a child doing <laughs> that. Let's get that straight. Let's get that straight, motherfuckers. Are you fucking? I thought you were up? seventeen though. So you're still yeah. This a child. was high school three years ago. That's what I just. Have said. you graduated already? Yeah, I got my GED. Oh, so you dropped out and then you got a GED? No, I got my GED early. I did a bunch of AP in college. I'm actually a senior in college right now, too. Wait, so when did you start college? Oh, that's super impressive. When I was freshman, I had started taking AP AP and dual credit classes. (laughs) But yeah, men are so annoying for shit like that. Like, bitch, throw that shit away and move on. Like, what is wrong with you? When I was, when I went to middle school, I, I went to a new middle school after sixth grade. And I was like the new kid. I didn't have any friends. And then this one kid who's like the coolest kid in seventh grade was like, you should come to my house after school today. Like you're sick. And I was like, okay, tight. Like I made a friend. He's cool. He has clout. I go to his house and then immediately he's like, dude, like, um, do you know that you can make bombs out of, uh, aluminum and bleach? Oh, I did that all the time. The yeah. shake, like, yeah, I've, yeah, I did that so, a bunch. for the next like three hours, he was just like building bombs. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, dude, I'm bored with this. So then he had like a brother who was, I guess like 10 at the time. And he was like, let's smoke bomb. Let's smoke bomb my brother. And I was like, with what? Like, what do you, what the fuck are you talking about? And then he was like, dude, I do this all the time. It's really sick. Stop. Does he, I, we had ax wars yes. too, where we would tape the top down yes. and so throw it in the room. So he goes and he tapes a fucking ax can, throws into his brother's room, runs around and locks the door. And his brother's like screaming. And banging <laughs> like, the door. It's crazy. It was crazy. And we I'm would like, have ax wars. I'm now thinking like, what, what did his brother end up? Going like on to do and literally yeah. inhaling like it's literally like inhaling a whip it i feel like i feel like it's the same like it has to do the same thing to your brain like if you're just like suffocating yourself with something like that me and all my homies literally are all freaks so like it makes sense because we would do the same thing we would have axe wars where we would like build forts and then spray each other with axe <laughs> and shit then it graduated to spray paint and then it became bullying and it's one of my biggest regrets in my life as i spray painted a kid <laughs> like I, really? and then he had school next like day like mad max yeah like no i like <laughs> i spray painted him <laughs> like it's it's really oh it's God. not chill like we, we we were like let's let's have a spray paint battle and then me and my friends like teamed up against him it was really really dark and like I, do you know him still yeah yeah we're still friends like okay. i literally apologize for all of it because i i was like I was evil, y'all. Like, it was really bad. Um, But, yeah, we used to do the bombs where you would get tinfoil, and then it's uh, the works. It's called the works bomb. And then, like, there's, like, a chemical reaction where it, like, expands the bottom and, like, explodes. But we also used to shoot the cans of Axe with BBs. And explode them? There wouldn't be... There might have been fire. There wasn't fire, no. But then going, like... I would get in so much trouble because when my dad would actually go and get me like a Victoria's Secrets like body spray and I would come back home and it was fucking empty because I would be in class like like on all my friends going to the bathroom being like let's go to the bathroom and put on our perfume but really we were just literally soaking each other down with it and we would literally start to smell like literally some of that perfume reminds me of the smell when you leave like piss in a litter box too long like it literally like it's literally an ammonia like it is a crazy fucking scent and the fact that like we were also why did teachers get so mad about us like using it in class like bitch because you you were literally gassing out the class (laughs) like you were causing problems like that shit that's what that was my original point was like we get made fun of for our axe use like y'all weren't doing the same fucking thing with that glitter perfume like in the back (sighs) of class it was such a vibe though the glitter perfume also like school in general just smelled like maple syrup fart bombs breakfast. and then a mix of like the worst perfumes on the planet it like that's like all just breakfast in general like. <laughs> like i hated that smell i hated getting to school in the morning because i don't like the smell of maple syrup especially that fake ass one that comes in the fucking like mcdonald's little one and school would just smell like that like you knew if a kid had breakfast at school that morning because they just smelled like a pancake yeah. like bitch you smell like a pancake get out of my face like it was French so toast annoying sticks. Ooh, that shit hit i literally my entirety <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that. I'll tell you all that later, though. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. I just never ate in high school. Oh, I didn't either. It was I like did really not bad. eat school lunch, and I would eat two meals when I got home. Yeah. I would I eat feel chicken like nuggets like... every day. Your school Why had you chicken nuggets every so day? Heavy? I would eat chicken nuggets every day. Did your school have chicken nuggets every day? Yes. 
Seriously? Yes, and I would eat them every day. Actually, beautiful. see, when there was like a good thing, like chicken nuggets or something, I was fucking that shit up. I, or they would give us like fake ass McChickens with no mayo, no lettuce. It was just the bun and like my a chicken school, patty, and I would the fuck shit that they that gave us up. were like half frozen. Yeah, it was like hockey pucks. And you have to like dethaw them in your car. Sure. My <laughs> school had a Subway, a Chipotle, a Domino's, and um, a Chick Fil A. You trying to think of something else to add? No, on there? I'm not. I'm not even kidding. We had, but we had like <laughs> dupes of them it. All. Yeah, like, no, we had like dupes of it. Like our Chipotle was like shitty, like cafeteria food, but they would wrap it up into burritos for you, and it was like. Thirty dollars. Wait, what so the fuck is the layout of your school lunch like place? It like, was of your like, cafeteria. The cafeteria was like this, and then along this side of the wall was like four different like lines that you could line up in, and you would like so like burrito line was this side, then the pizza line was this side, and then like the regular lunch food was this side, and then like the Chick Fil A and sandwich making spot was like this side. But they had actual. Bitch, you real... literally went to High School Musical. Like what the fuck? They like, actually had real Chick. Chick fil A sandwiches, like, but they would sell out so fucking fast. Did someone say ship station? <laughs> I love ship station. Fun fact about me is I love shipping out packages. I do it every day, and ship station just makes it that much easier. You can effortlessly integrate everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. And also manage orders, print labels, compare rates, optimize every shipment, and automate delivery notifications. Um, somebody call the ambulance because I'm about to start screaming from how good these deals are. Get discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. Set your business up for holiday season success with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com and use code EMERGENCY today and sign up for your free trial. 60 days. 60 days free trial. That's two months. Two months is a long time, guys. Tap in. That's ShipStation.com code EMERGENCY. That is insane. My cafeteria school was you get in, there's two lines and it's the same fucking slop shit on each side and you just had to wait in line. And if you went to the front to like go see what there was before you got in line, you would get yelled at because they'd be like, get to the back of the line. So you had to wait in the line just to get to the front and see that it was like cold ass fucking green beans, like a Flop. shitty, like empty, like pizza that had like no marinara sauce Ew, dude, on it the like sausage pizza the little fucking nodes of sausage was like <laughs> actually they looked like moles that were removed from the lunch lady's back like they were literally <laughs> so fucking nasty like i can't and kids ate that shit up i was like you're freaks but the kids that ran to the lunchroom like i want to <laughs> see where they're at today like they were about that shit they were all like the weirdos with like the roller backpacks but like where are they? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, they're all in the fucking computer science. <laughs> yeah, people science. who, like, needed to be at the front of the line. I'm like, that shitty food is going to be there for the next 40 minutes. I like, had a yeah. roller backpack. Did no, you actually? You did yeah, I did. In <laughs> no, high you school? Fucking did. In high school. But in fifth grade, and this really big kid would always kick it really hard. <laughs> <long. laughs> also, I brought, like, a teddy bear to school, like, way too late into my, like, elementary school years. And I had a rolly backpack with a teddy bear that, would, like, his head would stick out. <laughs> And this kid would just kick the shit out of it. <laughs> and the bear That's would go sweet. flying. That's sweet, actually. I know. <laughs> that, that That's cute. You I think getting the attacked bear. or you being a like... No, the I teddy think both bear. are sweet because I'm the underdog and oh, okay. I'm the main character. Okay. No matter what. I don't know if you've ever watched a movie, but usually the that's not how that works. <laughs> the kid with the holy backpack is not <laughs> the main, not character. The main <laughs> character ever. Um, well, have y'all because it's crazy that like schools make kids pay for lunch. Like there there <gasps> oh, was like oh. nothing more humiliating. Do you remember than book being... covers? Did y'all have book covers? What do you mean? Oh, like yeah, yeah. the the nylon book covers? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, dude. That the, was like, like stretchy a, ones. Yes, that yeah. was like a currency in my school. Like, and I remember like I was so fucking swagged out. Like, that's when I knew that I was cooler than everybody else. Still am. Don't fucking play. Was when I had, like, all You're the cool, cool book so. covers. And then I had that side satchel bag where my binders and books would sit in it. At like, my I was school, swag. you would have got beat the fuck up because that is so embarrassing. Like, kids who, like... No, I was Mew Mew coded. Like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> yeah, like I had the Mew Mew side satchel. Like, it was lit. That was the evolution, though. It was the rolly backpack to... The, the thing that you strap across your chest. I thought it was, it was like so a messenger sick. bag or something. Yeah, messenger bag. It Dude, was like the nylon covers. 
I, mm-hmm. I didn't know anybody who had those, like, who was, like, cool who had those. So, at my school, it was different. So, well, it's just, I was like, cool. So. Yeah, I don't know. It, it feels like you remembered that because you, Kai was saying you got bullied, and then you had, like, a moment where you remembered being bullied, and then you brought that up. <laughs> yeah, the narrative has shifted. Yeah. Where you were the person blowing people up a second ago, and now you're... No, no, I was, I was wicked. Like, I, I wasn't, like, a, I wasn't, like, a normal bully. I was, like... I would like I was like psychological like I was like a psychological bully like I told this kid he had squades one time and made him like <laughs> sob squirrel aids for those like and dude I still feel bad about that and then like the teacher sent me out to the hall and I was like oh I was devastated and then like yeah I spray painted him I threw like basketballs at him all the time and then like oh dude actually I don't even want to tell that one that one's mean <laughs> well what I was saying is why the fuck do they make children pay for lunch at school because that is so gnarly i will never forget going like there was nothing more humiliating than getting to the front with your tray of food and then then putting in your number and looking at you being like you don't have any money and taking your tray away from you and giving you cereal and milk and i was like that is so humiliating like each time i would fucking cry and be so embarrassed and just like you're always in line with a friend behind you and like then your friend just goes and gets their food and now you're walking with like a thing of cereal and milk and your friend has all their fucking hot food and you're just like dude it's really gnarly like if you think about it like we would rather our children starve than fucking let them eat a two dollar meal that costs two max two dollars but like what like actually also what are you gonna do give my tray to another kid they would just throw my fucking tray out like you might as well just give it to me like yeah exactly we had like i'm hungry we had really sweet lunch ladies like i love my lunch ladies like if like my parents forgot to put money in my account or something they would just be like you you can pay me next time yeah they would let you go sometimes but Mm -hmm. like i was one of the kids who would always like be like uh i'm gonna have money next week sorry and they're like you're not gonna have money next week no and then broke broke no money no bitches no swag broke broke. well i had a lot of friends who fed me so and i'll never forget that kindness that was shared to me and it was a lot of friends who i had fallings out with uh falling out with and then i had to fight them anyway so (laughs) i will never forget it was fighting um, in middle school i don't and you got jumped in middle school Bitch, I never got jumped, but I have got my ass beat. I got beat. jumped. Yeah. You got jumped. Aww. Ten times. Bruh, shut the fuck Bruh. up. <laughs> Ten times all in a row, too. Every day. Oh, my day. God. No, I'm just you kidding. You were being sacrificed. I never got jumped. I, was, I never got jumped, but I did get my ass beat. Of. Rightfully yeah. so, one time. And, and it was by, like, one of my homegirls. Like, I said something I should have never said to her. And she, she had some height on me and she mm-hmm. fucking beat my ass yeah, and immediately after we had a really good conversation and it was fine we had a very nice conversation that we never beefed again that that was in like fifth grade i actually Some did get jumped need to one time very quickly i was i it was i was a freshman again at a new school a new high school and i damn so you were like new kid syndrome i, I was new kid syndrome three times Ugh, yeah that sucks. so I like I would carpool with this kid Diego and we had we shared a locker it was like freshman year and this kid comes up and he shoves me against the locker I think this was like a week into school or something but he was in my PE class he was really strong he shoved me against the locker and then Diego uh goes around the back of him and grabs his hat and throws it on the ground I might have said this on the podcast is no, this something I've no I've never heard this but it was like the nicest thing that anyone's like ever done to me or for me. Damn, that's so that's like so sweet. out of nowhere. Like I didn't even really know him that well, but he just like stood up for yeah, you. Yeah, he stood up for me, and he like grabbed his hat. He grabbed his like fitted San Francisco Giants hat and like stomped on it. And he was like, "Don't do that to my friend." And I was Damn. like, "I was like, bro, that was so fucking we are sweet." Friends. Yeah, Aww. that's that Latin culture. We just like stand up for like the people yeah. he was we white and yeah. Like, no, Diego. Why the fuck is his Diego name Diego? <laughs> Diego was not white. Diego was a white. white man named Diego. Yeah, he was. I'm like, damn, his parents were feeling themselves. They were like, mm, <laughs> what are we gonna name him? Um, well, I'm gonna name my ch- child San Francisco. <laughs> San Fran. My name is San Francisco, and I'm from San Diego. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bro. Um, well, one time when I was on crutches and I was like first in line at this thing and like one of my friends who dated my sister in like seventh or eighth grade or something like just was like fucking around with me and like just being a dickhead to me and just being whatever, just 
shooting the shit, but I wasn't like having it. So what? much smoke. Just uh, you like talking, this huge just, like, plume of smoke came like, out of Enya's box like, smile. I, I shot it out because I started to laugh at myself because I was going to be like, whoa, you let your friends hit your sister? Like you yeah, let them hit that? Yeah. Like that's crazy. I did, bro. It was crazy. I was lit. Did you ever get yelled at by your friend's parents? Uh, yes, I'll tell yeah, about I that did. in a second. But then this kid, I, I boiled over. It was the first time I like saw red and I had my crutch and I just went, and like <laughs> hit the fuck out of his shin like and i literally made him bleed out and he never fucked with me ever again but he had like a gash on his leg and he, had, he was a track runner and i like i was like go for the leg go for the leg and i just went and like cut his leg open and bruised it and he was like limping he was like bro what the fuck like why did you do that and i was like don't fucking play when uh i was like probably 13 my best friend was really into skating and um this is when you asked if I've ever gotten yelled at by like someone's parents, which, by the way, is like one of the worst. It's horrible things that can happen to someone. It is literally horrible, horrible feeling, and I still to this day when I think about it, I get like, like oh fuck, oh fuck, like I like <laughs> I get like nervous. But yeah, my friend was really into skating at the time, and his dad was like this like macho guy he like built everything he fixed up cars and boats and like he was a pilot and he did everything like he he was actually really cool um but he um helped he was helping his son build like an, a half pipe mm -hmm. like he was like built we were building a half pipe for him and like i was like a fucking skinny little scrawny fucking nasty twink like i was gross i would like i was uh, needed to eat a fucking burger challenge um Just and um we were building this half pipe and i came over on the day they were building it and the dad was like hey drew come over here and help me and i went over there to help him went over there to help him and he was like moving like giant sheets of plywood because they were almost done and they were stapling like the top on or nailing the top on and i just could not i physically could not hold my end of the giant sheet of plywood and i was like dropping it and i just like i couldn't do it and i kept telling him he was like no you got it you got it and we had to walk like 30 more feet and then i just like drop it and then he like drops it on his feet and he gets Oh my God, he was so fucking mad. He was like, why didn't you tell me you were going to drop it? Like, that could have really injured me. And like, he was like reaming into me. And my friend was like, bro, like, what the fuck is going on? He like, he s took his anger out on me and snapped at me. And I just was like, okay, I'm going to go home. And I called my dad and waited at the top of the driveway and went home. And it was like, I was terrified. He like scared the fuck out of me. But he's still cool today. He showed me, I see him all the time still. But yeah, evil. Wow, I personally would have um, gotten the police involved. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I would have called me the police. Personally, I would not have handled that. Yeah, my, me personally, I would have beat his ass. I would not have <laughs> let him talk to me like that. Like it would have been a fight. My worst one is I used to carpool in like middle school with people who lived in my neighborhood, and I was late every time. It was my bad, but whatever. And then one day I, we were like coming back, and I was in the car. I was making like annoying jokes. And the driver, who was, like, my neighbor's mom, was like, you know what, Kai? Like, I really wish you would uh, shut the fuck up because you're late every morning. You hold everyone up and, like, destroyed me. Like, completely destroyed me. And then she was like, I'm, I, I want you to get out of the car and I want you to walk the rest of the way. <gasps> and then I walked. But I needed this. Like, I needed it. Like, ever since then, I have not been as late to things. <laughs> I swear to God. That's trauma. No, it's good. It's really good. But, Again, I wouldn't have let her get away with that. I would have yeah. been like, you know what, bitch? You get out of the fucking car. And I would have fought her ass right there yeah. in front of her I would have pulled her hair. I would have splashed <laughs> habanero juice on her. Yeah. Like, I don't fucking play with that shit. I guess, like, actually, I, I didn't hang out with, like, my friends. I was, like, in the kind of household that if I hung out with my friends, they would usually come to my house. But I never had any of my friends yell at me, but I had my godparents who I was really close with their kids. Um, my godfather yelled at me like twice, which I also think I said this on the uh, podcast, but we like, I had a really bad habit as a kid that before the car came to a stop, I would open the door and get out. And he would always be like, do not do that. Don't do that. That's dangerous. I don't want to run over your foot. Don't fucking do that. And then one time I did it and he would like blast music in the car. So I did it and he slammed the car shut he slammed the car like to a stop turned down the music and turned to me and was like what the fuck did i tell you about doing that and i was like 
um, and then he was like, no, we're going to try this again. And he pulled out of the driveway, went around the block and like had the music blaring again. Like he literally recreated the whole scene and my ass never opened that door too fast ever again. I could, I was like, that was insane. Now, he had never yelled at me, never raised his voice, but he just like went in on me. He was like, and if I fucking broke your foot, then it's my fucking fault. And your dad's going to beat my fucking ass. Like, don't fucking do that. And like went in on me and then went back around. And then yeah. I just never opened the door too that soon. That shit will change the trajectory of your moral and ethical compass yeah dude, that, <laughs> dude when adele yelled at me what i don't even want to talk about it you knew adele you're Wait, from you should definitely Why dive into that yeah that seems super just, interesting we were just like chilling a bunch like but hanging she yelled out at you? yeah she like poured acid towards me <laughs> Towards. Towards. <laughs> it didn't hit me thankfully but there's like certain stories that i want to tell but i think uh they would not be taken lightly so I'm not gonna. Right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. When we have nothing to talk about, we're like, let's go down memory lane. Like, let's talk about our. Well, childhood. I had so much shit to talk about. That was just a free flowing organic conversation, which is really nice. Um, we can talk about how men are nasty and will always cheat. Should we talk about that? Should we get into that? <laughs> sure um okay so a classic classic cheater oh are you saying that because of what we saw yesterday mm, i don't even know what you're referencing i'm talking about something else but throw it in there if no if, because if anybody's gonna watch love is blind you need to watch it. oh that's well, what I thought yes you were partially that but no stephen fucking hawking cheating on his wife riz literally silent robotic riz <laughs> like let's talk about that he has robot riz but <laughs> but that motherfucker cheated on his wife and couldn't fucking move like he literally couldn't move and he cheated on his wife with one of his nurses like if there's one thing you can count on a man doing it's, it's gonna cheating. be to fucking yeah. cheat like i can't yeah, i literally fucking can't that's like, in the trajectory of anybody who is like dating a man like you better believe at some point you're going to have to talk about the fact that he cheated. Like, it's just in gonna... some capacity. It may yeah. not be hooking up. It may not be doing S, but like in some capacity, he's going to look <laughs> at a woman wrong or something. But like, oh, my God, if Stephen Hawking can cheat, any man will cheat. Like, <laughs> just think about that. Also, why was he on Epstein's Island? Like, let's really talk about that. What was he doing there? But anyways, wait, what? He was on Epstein's Island. There's pictures of Are him there. Yes. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't I didn't know that. There's yes, pictures dude. of him there, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Isn't that crazy? That is like he, that's truly insane. No one had any that. business being there, let alone him. He had no business being there. Like, why are you there? Uh, dude, imagine actually not knowing what's up with Epstein and like being invited to an island, like being blown out. Like realistically, yeah, like, party. Wow, Wait, a billionaire is so flying cool. me out to an island to ride jet skis. Saying, like, oh if God. a billionaire came up to me right now, I was like, "You do you want to get on a private jet and go to my island?" I'd be like, "Oh um, yes!" And then twenty years <laughs> yeah, from yeah. now, there's just a picture of me, like, <laughs> <laughs> me like, <laughs> like posted What's up, this? and it's like I, it turned out to be the fucking killer, and I was just like. <laughs> <laughs> like in all my pictures, I'm hella happy. People are like, "Look how happy she was. She was fully involved." What's that, that just robot girl? Like What's that robot girl? Uh, little Michaela. <laughs> little Michaela Epstein. On the Dude, island. little Michaela met Epstein. She was on that fucking island. Yep. There's a picture of it. <laughs> Dude, like I'd be so pissed. Cause imagine you went and it wasn't even that fun too, and now you're involved, bitch. Yeah. I'd be pissed. Look. <sighs> There's literally a picture of her and Epstein together. Like, this is crazy. And it's a printout, so you know it's real. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Dude, oh my god. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love the idea of you being posted up with Glenn yeah. Maxwell. <laughs> I know. Like... <laughs> That's what's worse. It's like you are probably a little drunk, so the photos aren't even good pictures. So you're gonna be like, yeah, literally. like just post it up. Oh, I'd be so pissed. <sighs> okay, guys, I didn't know. I just like heard free. <laughs> I just heard island. And and I'm like, had a really hard week. You're yeah. working your ass off, and then you get this invitation, and you're like, oh my god, this is literally a godsend. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
You're like, yeah, the trip had kind of weird vibes. People were being a little bit weird. People but... would disappear for a few hours, but I just thought they were sleeping. Like, yeah. it's, it was a really big Feeling island. left out that you weren't yeah. getting, like, invited to shit. Well, I'll leave us with one more thing, and then we can get into media and stuff. This is actually What's kind of a sweet What's up with the PSYOP corner? Oh, I'm, that's what I mean, media oh, okay. and shit, yeah. Um, but this one's kind of sweet, but I was just like, I forget where we were. Oh, we were at the... Um, uh eve's tumor show and just like seeing all these people being like oh like i was watching you when i was like 13 14 brain rotted you're a dangerous person um <laughs> love you but if you're still listening like like i don't know <laughs> I, I don't know where you're, you're just at, as you crazy as me. we are we're just as crazy as we are but um i was just like looking around and thinking i was like damn dude we really did like all like kind of grow up together in a way like yeah, hundred percent. Like, I'm glad like I got to grow up on the internet, um, and it's just really sweet to just like hear stories of people being like, "Oh yeah, like I saw you when I was 14, and now I'm like graduating nursing school, and like yeah, it's it so also crazy. scares me because like that's like one of those moments where I actually have a concept of time because if like one of you comes up to us and it's like, "Oh yeah, I've been watching you since I was like fucking 12, and now I'm I'm looking at the face of an adult," like. It's like, yeah, I've been watching you since you started on the internet for like 10 years ago. And I'm looking at like the face of another adult. I'm just like, Whoa. how are you ever 12 years old watching my content? Yeah, like, some... that, like, I, I like, I like can't correlate it and it freaks me out, but in a sweet way. Cause I'm just like, oh my God, that's insane. And then it makes me, uh, think about the fact that like, I actually have an effect on people, which I don't want to think about because that scares me, but I'm a good person. So it's okay. Someone like, um, one there we we met like this nurse that was just like oh like it's so like y'all make me feel like less crazy because like y'all are fucking weirdos and it's just like really sweet but i forgot who who i was talking to about it but uh, someone uh i i had the thought but then i lost it um when you were talking but whatever it doesn't matter let's move on oh wow Oh, wow. So that's my fault. Let's fucking move on. Also, that just reminded me of we've literally said on the podcast before, like, if you are a doctor and you listen to this shit, I'm fucking scared of you. And then she was like, I'm a nurse. And I was like, you're crazy. Wow. You're mm -hmm. crazy. But love. Live, laugh, love. She was awesome. Drew Sayop Corner. Hey! Oh, my God. Welcome to Drew Sayop Corner. Um, so this one's just a classic. You've already seen it. It's like three weeks old. Um, she ate this. Let him cook that. Who the fuck's going to be doing the dishes? <laughs> Kai. <laughs> um, scratching a bug bite feels like evil masturbation. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good one. Having a crush gives me the same symptoms of psychosis. <laughs> like delusions of grandeur, like really. Um, okay, this one is like a thought that I had that will probably be cut out. Um, but I don't have it written out in Drew Psyop form, so I kind of just like go into it a little bit. Um but how do people with dementia and Alzheimer's still remember to be racist? Like, <laughs> no, literally, literally on their deathbed, like, they're still racist. Like, it's so <laughs> deeply ingrained into their fucking, no, like, literally, we were like racist, about... homophobic, like, what the hell? Like, like how is mean? that the one thing that sticks? Like, it, then, it's, it makes no sense. And then, like, you'll see videos of people, like, walking down halls with, like, their dementia or Alzheimer's out, like, mom. And, like, you're, they're walking behind her filming and the mom is just, like... You fucking fat pig. Like, I fucking hate you. Like, why are you following me? <laughs> Freak bitch. Like, I fucking hate you. Like, leave me the fuck alone. And then, like, the the girl's like, oh, my God. Like, how do, how do dementia people remember to be mean? Like, <laughs> like I don't know. Like, it's really yeah, crazy. Yeah, how do you remember to just be evil? But maybe that's, like, a sign that, like, that person might have just had, like, a little evil in them. Mm -hmm. That's, like, always lingered. And, like, mm -hmm. that's just the part of their brain that still works. Like, I just don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really crazy. Um, do I got any more? I think that's all I have. I'm trying to remember. I said something in the car that you were like, write that down, but I didn't. I simply didn't. Maybe I wrote it down. Because my funniness, just like, you have to be there for it. And if you're not there, then like, I don't know what to tell you. You just weren't there. And now you won't believe I'm funny. Daniel Roseberry from Scaparelli is fine. 
<laughs> you writing that down. I wanted to talk about it, but... Oh, yeah, you were supposed to show me people you found attractive, and then I was going to tell you if I, like, agreed with you. Yeah, we'll do that next episode. Okay. We'll do it with Josiah. Yeah. Drew said that my taste in... What did you say about my taste in men? I don't remember exactly, but it's just really, like, bizarre. Like, like I feel like you could probably, like, if we put, like, five people up... I feel like if you put five women up, I think you would easily be able to choose who I thought was attractive. Mm. But for men, it's just so obscure. It's like it, that's the word I use. Yeah. Like her attraction is just very obscure. <laughs> like it's like down to the minute detail, like the <laughs> nose bridge. Like I've I've noticed like every single man, you're like, oh, he's fine, has like the exact same like bump in their nose. I'm like ah. and yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> oh, he, oh, hell, oh, 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 fuck, I suck at it, bro. <laughs> My name is Carmen Winston. My name is Carmen Winstead. I'm 17 years old. I'm, I'm very, very similar, similar to you. you. Did, Did I, I mention I'm dead? dead? When I was 17 years old, three girls pushed me down a well. <laughs> I got stuck down there. Send this chain email to 25 of your friends or she'll come and kill you. My name is Drew Phillips. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, Video of the week. E e e e <laughs> we need to hit up Low Anthony. Scream. No, we need to, not... no, wait, wait. We need to hit up Low Anthony f to record us one of those. Do you think he would? I bet if we no, paid him, he would. Hell no. You don't think if we paid him, There's he would There's some pictures of him that came out, and I was like, oh my God, that is a straight man. Like, But then there were some pictures that I saw that I was like, there's a little gay in him. Like, he's <laughs> He really is a little gay, and he's just repressing that shit. He's like scared straight. Um, we need to start a show called Scared Straight, where it's gay people <laughs> conversion therapy. Um. Oh, I don't think we need to, though, so... That's crazy. Uh, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. Renegade, renegade, renegade. Oh, so when I talk, it's a little bit a little. <laughs> I was going to start rapping. Yeah, I've been rapping a bunch recently. <laughs> Rap album coming soon. Um, My media of the week is... What did we watch? Oh, we watched The, the Second Exorcist. Um, they made a movie about me and Orion. The yeah, second the Exorcist fucking wing is literally bots. about me and Orion and our wing bots. Literally. That like, movie's about you before you've had your coffee in the morning. That's literally a joke Drew made while we were watching it. I said like, that, and I said the wing bot joke. When they we like, said the wing bot joke at the same time. Did Orion tell you that? You whispered it to Orion, and I a second later said it, and she goes, Drew literally just said that to me. So we had the same joke at the same time loaded wow. up. Well, no, I said it first, so... Okay. <laughs> well, I'm speaking from personal experience, so like. Bitch, me too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the only movie. The, and yeah, watched. I would throw your wing butt away. I'm gonna be honest. Why? Oh, have you been using it? I put it on my butthole. I really <laughs> do. Yeast infection time. My stank a butt. My <laughs> BB time. Um, my media of the week is, I think I already said this, the Abandoned Luncheonette album by Daryl Hall and John Oates. And I'm still listening to I Want You, like that album by Marvin Gaye. And, oh my God, uh, the Troy song. Oh, what is it? One of your girls. That song is so good. Yeah, I've been listening to that one a lot. L look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at me. One of your girls by Trice Vaughn. Look around the room. <laughs> um, it's a fine day. Opus 3. Um, still listening to the 10 Tricks Point Never album. Um, still listening to Yabujin and Boards of Canada. Um, I don't have any specific songs to give you other than Opus 3. I, I will say it's a fine day. Opus 3 is quite literally the best song ever made. Like, are you serving? You better not be serving cunt while I'm talking to you. 
You better, you better not, not be. doing your media of the week while I'm serving cunt in front of the camera when you I get there. Better not be serving cunt. <laughs> Why did that joke come back up? Like I think you said it first. You said it's. <laughs> I've just been saying it randomly, and then you like say it back to me, and then I say it back to you, and we say it four times in a row. <laughs> it's the same thing as when we see something. We're like, okay, me when I'm, and then we just describe what we're looking at. Yeah. It's the same thing. Oh, because we were in the. Me when I'm a hydro flask with a dent in it. <laughs> we were in the. What Who is that? that? All right. Well. Thank you guys for watching. Somebody, I saw somebody be like the way and you cut the podcast off every time scares the fuck out of me because I'm like, all right, guys, bye. <laughs> like literally. But um, we watched The Exorcist in 40X and that movie would have been terrible if it didn't have 40X. Every movie should be in 40X. It's so fucking funny. It's like Disney World. Yeah, it literally is. It's a theme park. But yeah, I literally have nothing else to say. So fuck you, bye.